Hi there. Today is Zamenhof Day. Felice on Zamenhof Tagon uh, to you. And I've got, in 30 minutes here, I've got a couple of Esperanto speakers coming over to my house uh, to have supper here. So that's how I'll be celebrating. How are you planning to celebrate Zamenhof Day wherever you are? Let me know in the comments section below. Uh, today I helped post this Zamenhof Tagan Messaggio del Presidente uh, on the Esperanto USA website, uh, the YouTube channel. Go check that out. There's some exciting new things happening uh, there. We're getting um, new folks doing the uh, newsletter, Usona Esperantisto, and we've also got a new helper in the central office there. So. That's exciting stuff. I think that'll enable us to get more projects accomplished. Speaking of which, there's a project right now that we've just gotten underway. Uh, Esperanto USA is hiring a filmmaker to make an official uh, Blu-ray release version of 1910, the Esperanto film. That came out a year ago today, uh, is when I posted that on YouTube. But you never know how YouTube's going to be. They could shut down tomorrow, for all I know. So we're hiring this guy. Uh, where is he? There he is. Hello. That's Beans uh, right there. He is going to figure out the logistics for making a nice professional-looking release of uh, 1910 with you know nice jacket sleeve, uh, maybe some special features here. I've got, what is this? Attack of the Moon Zombies here. Isn't it nice having some films, you know, with nice covers? This is a Christopher Meme film. Uh, I've got a couple things like that. What is this? Esperanto Filmo de Dominique uh, Gautier uh, there. But isn't it nice to have things on your shelf to uh, to show off, right? Uh, and so I want to have something like that to put right here next to the giant spider and guns of the apocalypse, etc. Uh, and so he's going to figure out that out. It's a little tricky with Blu-ray compared to DVD because there are way more programs for authoring uh, a DVD than there are for Blu-ray. And this summer, just out of the goodness of his heart, Bean's there offered to make a Blu-ray version of 1910 and had a lot of trouble getting the subtitles to work. There's subtitles that are in five languages and even the English one was tricky to get, uh, to get. We had to replace the M dashes with regular hyphens for the not to have error messages pop up. And we had no luck getting Esperanto subtitles with the special letters to work there. So that's one of the reasons we're like, all right, let, if you're going to spend lots of time researching and trying different things out, let's make this worth your time here. Uh, so he's going to figure that out. If you have any knowledge or experience about that, if you fiddled around and tried to uh, get stuff in Esperanto made on a physical Blu-ray disc, let me know about that in the comments section. Uh, Beans there uh, is not an Esperanto speaker, so, you know, speak in English about, yeah, I found that this worked better than this. Also, if you have any footage or photographs from 1910 going to that play in Montreal, and you want that to be possibly included in a special featurette, a slideshow, or behind the scenes uh, documentary feature, let me know. You can send it. I'll put information in the video description below, and you can help us make an even cooler thing. So uh, he's going to figure that out. I'm really excited to see him, and that's already has thousands and thousands of views. If you haven't checked it out already, I highly recommend you go do so. It's an amazing piece of work. Genya did an amazing job writing and producing that, uh, and I'm glad I got to be there and be a part of it. Uh, so. Enjoy. There's a lot of interesting Esperanto stuff. The the second musical of by Teo recently came out, um, Pet Vitore Aventuroi, um, and they have a first one as well that's up on their website. So there's a lot. You can sit down and curl up with a good Esperanto film today, and I recommend you do so uh, if you happen to not be with other Esperantists. But I have to go get ready. I'm whipping up some tacos for some Esperanto speakers in just a few minutes. So until next time, gis la revido. Dankon al vi patronoi pro via helpo en la creado de tiwi chi filmetoi.